This key concept video looks at logic terms and the terms that you will see in your Ivy Math Studies exam papers. And I have identified the main eight terms or the most frequently occurring terms. There are some other minor ones, however, these ones uh, keep coming up and appear most often in the exam papers. So the aim for this video is to provide a brief overview as to what these terms mean their symbols, and just to provide some examples using these example statements up here in the top right. Then I advise jumping over to the question bank section and practicing some of these questions. Okay, let's start with negation. The symbol for negation is a symbol like this. It means not. So for example, if we had negation P, our P statement is the day is hot. So negation P would just simply mean the day is not hot. Next one, conjunction. Symbol like a hut, it means and. So for example, Q conjunction R, if our Q statement is Kate wears a hat and the R statement is Kate drinks some water, it would be Kate wears a hat and drinks some water. Simple as that. Next one, disjunction has the opposite symbol of conjunction. So it's like a V that means or. And the an example would be if I had Q disjunction R, it would probably be, or in fact it would be, and you could probably guess this, Kate wears a hat or drinks some water. Next one, exclusive disjunction. It has a similar symbol to the disjunction, however there's a line underneath, and it means or but not both. So an example, Q exclusive disjunction R would be Kate wears a hat or drinks some water, but not both. And I'm just going to put this in quotation marks, but not both. Kate wears a hat or drinks some water, but not both. Now the last four are related and they often are um, used in the same questions. We're given an initial statement, and then the question will ask whether to, or to write out the converse, inverse, or contrapositive. So let's start with implication. This is a very, very common one. It appears in nearly pretty much every single logic question. It has a symbol like this, and it means if something, then something. Now that might make not, not much sense, however, it will make sense in a second. If I have P, implication Q, and just keep in mind my statements up here, P is the day is hot, Q is Kate wears a hat. So P implication Q will mean if the day is hot, then Kate wears a hat. Next one, the converse. Again, the symbols are all the same. The symbols are the same for all four. However, it's the order of the, um, the statements that change. Okay, so we're looking at this initial statement here, P implication Q. So I'm actually gonna draw a border around this because they're kind of their own separate section. Okay, so this is my initial compound proposition here or statement here. Now the converse of this statement will be Q implication P. So basically just the letters have swapped around in order. So the converse of this statement, and it won't quite make sense, it will be if Kate wears a hat, then the day is hot, which doesn't really make much sense. It's meant to go the other way, but that's what the converse means. So if Kate wears a hat, 
then the day is hot. Next one, we're looking at the inverse now. The inverse of this initial statement will be negation P, implication negation Q. So the order of the letters are the same, however both have the negation symbol in front. And if we were to write this as a statement in words, it would be if the day is not hot, because negation P is the day is not hot, then Kate does not wear a hat, which kind of makes sense. Now finally, the last term, contrapositive, and you may guess it, it's going to be the letters switched around, or the, the example statement switched around, so it's going to be P implication, ah, uh, sorry, the other way around. Q implication P, however that looks very similar to the converse, so it's actually going to be negation them both. Now let's try to write this, it will be, this probably won't make much sense at all. If Kate does not wear a hat, then the day is not hot. Okay, there is a brief overview as, uh, as to what these terms mean, some examples, and now I recommend practicing some of these questions.